This is a quick demonstration of the Pioneer that is for sale. Please forgive the rudimentary nature of the wiring. It is only a demonstration video and I have only connected it up to one speaker. You can control the angle of the screen using the buttons on the front. You can control all the aspects of the head unit using the buttons on the front. But as noted in the write-up, it does not come with a remote control. The remote control is ideally suited for the DB if you're using the head unit as a DVD receiver or for the sat nav. You can use the screen as a user interface to make all your custom settings. It comes with it, uh, an instruction manual, everything is explained in there and the Pioneer website still has an awful lot of information on this particular stereo. As you can see, you have a, a lot of settings that you can adjust yourself. Okay. The reason we're getting the hissing is because I haven't connected up the aerial. Put the CD in. You don't have to have the screen up while you're listening to the radio or the CD and the screen doesn't have to display graphics and it can display different graphics or it can just display the title or it can be blank. You can remove the front an extra security feature. Points worth noting is this plastic trim is broken but when you fit the surround on once it's mounted on your dashboard or wherever you're mounting it you can't it does actually cover that so you can't see it. Also worth noting is this did have a tendency to pop off. I managed to secure it, but sometimes it does pop off. I'll just give you a closer look so you can see the condition of the stereo. There is slight marking on this edge here. Apart from that, I think he's in pretty good condition. And there's some slight marking there as well, some slight. Okay, thank you.